Today I'm going to share with you my top five kid-friendly Halloween movies to enjoy this Halloween with your kids. Hey there nerds, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to go through my top five picks for Halloween movies to enjoy with your kids as it's October and Halloween's approaching. Thought I'd give you my little tips for some uh, kid friendly films to enjoy with the family. Uh, let's just wait one minute, let's just get back to HD. Okay, so the video's back to present day HD standards. So, uh, yeah, so this video is basically me going through my top five Halloween movies uh, to watch with your kids. So let's get straight into it. Number five. Number five is The Witches, which came out in 1990 and was originally a Roald Dahl book uh, for children. Uh, it stars Angelica Houston, amongst others. And so basically it follows the story of a boy called Luke who's staying in a hotel in England uh, with his grandmother Helga. He basically accidentally listens in on a convention of witches um, and the Grand High Witch basically reveals a, a plot to turn all the children in the world into mice using some sort of magical formula. They basically overhear him, uh, turn him into a mouse by basically practicing this formula on him. Uh, so it's up to Luke the mouse and his grandmother Helga and uh, the hotel manager Mr Stringer to stop the witches for their plans. So yeah, great movie from the 90s. Um, can be a bit scary at times for children. Um, that's up to the parents' discretion, really, what you let your kids watch. Um, so that's entirely up to you. But uh, yeah, the costumes can be a little bit scary, the witches, uh, when they show their like true forms. Uh, but yeah, a good, uh, definitely a good Halloween movie to watch with the kids. Okay, number four is The Addams Family. So The Addams Family is a movie that came out in 1991 and was based loosely on the original television series The Addams Family which was aired in the 1960s. I have fond memories of watching that with my nan when I was little. Um, so, th so this movie stars Christopher Lloyd and Angelica Houston again amongst others. Uh, basically the story goes that um, Fester Adams has been missing for quite a long time. He turns up at the family Adam's home declaring that he is Fester and basically has no recollection of his life. He's got amnesia or whatever. Um, after a while Morticia Adams starts to question uh, this, if he's a fraud or not. And before long we find out that Fester's working with uh, this lawyer and they basically conned the uh, Adams and got them evicted from their home uh, and then the story carries on from there. Uh, again another you know good Halloween related sort of movie to watch with the kids nothing scary in this one particularly I don't think and yeah good film decent film definitely one to try and watch with the kids if you haven't already for this Halloween. Okay in at number three Hocus Pocus. Uh, so this is a Disney film and it stars Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker amongst others came out in 1993. Uh, it basically follows a teenager called Max. He's moved to Salem, Massachusetts in America. He basically unwittingly frees a coven of witches uh, and then it's up to him, a magic cat, and his friend Allison to stop the witches, foil their plans uh, for them to become immortal. Yeah, it's a good fun movie, nothing scary again in this one particularly. Um, so kids are absolutely fine watching this one. Uh, yeah, definitely another option to watch this Halloween. Okay, my pick in at number two, Edward Scissorhands. Okay, so it's a Tim Burton movie. Stars Johnny Depp, uh, Winona Ryder, amongst other people. Uh, it came out in 1990 again. Basically, this uh, scientist has created an animated human being. Um, the scientist has died and hasn't finished the animated human being, who is Edward. Um, basically, this uh, suburban housewife turns up, she's like an Avon lady, to this big scary house on the hill. Uh, she comes across Edward uh, and he's not finished. He's got these scissors for hands 
and basically she takes him down into the into the to the world of the of real people basically uh, to live with her and even though Edward's really kind and really artistic um he, just the, the the strange way he looks and obviously the the scissor hands he doesn't fit in the the, the world doesn't accept him um and the story just goes on from there. It's really good. Emotional story. Love the stylization of the movie and how Tim Burton's filmed it. Just like all his films. They're all quite different in their own ways, but always have this darkish look and tone to it. Really great movie. Definitely uh, one to watch with the kids. Um, is it a Halloween movie? Specifically, no. But it's, it is something that I, I generally break out around October time for Halloween. So, yeah, definitely an option to watch with the kids at Halloween. Okay, so getting into my number one pick, which is one of my favourite movies when I was growing up as a kid. Probably not the best movie in the world ever, uh, but it's definitely got a cult following nowadays from people of my age, I would say. And that movie is The Monster Squad. Now, The Monster Squad came out in 1987. It was directed by Fred Decker. I'm right. And basically, it's sort of a Goonies meets the Monsters, Universal Monsters movie. Goonies is one of the greatest kids' movies ever made. Um, this movie doesn't live up to it in, in terms of its the standard of the movie. But it's just the nostalgia for me is, is great. It's got all the universal monsters in there. Uh, it's got a group of young kids that your kids can relate to. Uh, basically, they have a little club where they all love monsters, the universal monsters. They love watching monster movies, drawing monsters. And they just get together and talk about the monsters. And basically one night Dracula comes back from a sort of slumber or other. Every hundred years this amulet becomes vulnerable. Uh, this amulet basically essentially can, can stop the monsters, stop Dracula from becoming all powerful and can suck them into like a limbo. Um, uh, we find out Van Helsing had tried it once and now a hundred years later Dracula's back and the only people that can stop him are the monster squad, these young kids. Uh, so Dracula turns up with other universal monsters like Frankenstein's monster, the werewolf, the mummy, and Gilman, we're gonna call him. Every every reference I've found to him calls him Gilman, a monster from the Black Lagoon, I don't know, but he's there as well. It's a great movie, really enjoy it. I've watched it recently, uh, well, last year I watched it with the, with the kids, and uh, I'm probably gonna stick it on again this year with Ryden and see how he gets on um, with it. It's just it's just it holds a lot of nostalgia for me, and if you haven't, you know, it's it's really hard to get hold of nowadays. So if you haven't watched it, definitely uh, encourage you to check it out. It's a fun movie, um, very Halloween orientated, maybe slightly scary in places for young kids. I'm not sure. That's up for you to determine, but definitely check it out. The Monster Squad. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my top five Halloween movies to watch with your kids. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave some comments about movies that you enjoy to watch with your kids. If there's any I haven't put on this list, obviously this is my list. You might have other ones that you prefer to watch. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below what movies you enjoy at Halloween with your kids. Where the whole family can sit down and enjoy and give you that Halloween feel before you go trick-or-treating or after you've been trick-or-treating. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, guys, uh, don't forget to hit that little notification button, the little bell. Uh, basically that will notify you when my videos are uploaded. If you don't, then you're not going to know when they get uploaded if you enjoy my videos. So yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do lots of collectibles, movie related content, food reviews, loads of stuff that I just love doing and I do some videos with my son Ryden. So definitely check out other videos. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.